This is my newest project. Um, it's a little pixel matrix. Uh, had this custom done. Uh, David at Holiday Cora was awesome. Uh, I sent him a little drawing of what I was thinking of and uh, we kind of went back and forth on it. Um, he put this together in about a week for me. So here you can see the back. These are all uh, 2801 pixels. I ordered these from China. It's about $100 worth of pixels there. And then they're wired down to one of the little uh, protocol converters. So these are running straight DMX um, out of LOR S3. So here you see the fully assembled panel and unit. Got just the single wire coming out of it because I'm using my wiring setup with the power and data together. I'm going to go ahead and click play on this. Show you some of the patterns that it can do. Now, some of these are actually imported right out of Nutcracker. Uh, this is their candy stripe with the twinkle pattern in it. Uh, so this took very little programming. Uh, meteor effects again out of Nutcracker. Um, these are a red tip with a white tail meteor. Uh, this is the blowing snow pattern out of Nutcracker. And then a few things that I did by hand here. Um, just in case you wanted to use this as a tune to sign. So you can see it's, uh, it's very bright. This is a wreath with the little twinkling bulbs on it. So you can do a static picture and only animate portions of it, or you can animate the entire panel. Uh, there's Mr. Demented Elf. So you can see, even with just a very basic, uh, basic grid here, um, you know, we're not doing full HD video or anything by any means, but we can do some pretty neat little animated effects. Um, and again, it's very simple to do this out of LORS3. As you can see, we can scroll left to right, right to left, we can go top to bottom, bottom to top. Um, and because they're RGB nodes, uh, we can do any color anywhere. So that gives you some advantages over the commercially available scrolling LED signs. You can see my little bubble lights going. Um, the other nice thing on this, of course, is your price point. I think the only RGB scrolling LED signs that I've been able to find online are right, right between like five and seven hundred dollars, um, which is a little ridiculous for one, one thing in your display. So total cost on this is, I'm guessing, right under two hundred. Um, so less than half of what some of those other ones are. A little fireplace with uh, some stockings hung. You can see the fire flickers. You get kind of the shadow flickering along the outside of the frame. So again, all these are pretty basic little animations. Uh, curtain opening, closing. And you can see some of the scrolling text. Um, the next example I'm going to shoot here will show you a lot more uh, as far as what can be done with the text. I'm going to go ahead and cue the other one up. There we go. And I'm running these on probably a little bit slower speed than I should be. I can speed that up a little bit. This is really a neat effect. You can see we've got scrolling text going right to left and then we have a color sweep going left to right through it. Um, so even if you're doing just you know regular scrolling text, 
you can still have some fun with it and play with some different color cycles going through. Um, you can do static images. You can go left or right with the animations. And again, you can, can do a pretty basic little picture or you can do something very complicated like a, a spinning globe here. This is a full cycle through with all the letters of the alphabet. And you can see that the bottom two rows of pixels aren't being used here. Again, I picked the 9 pixel tall to work around what's output from um, Nutcracker. So the way their system works, all your lowercase that dip down below the line, they need those extra two pixels down there. So for the most part, all the letters are 7 tall, uh, unless they're a lowercase and we dip down into that bottom row. So that's it. Pretty basic, pretty simple little concept, but uh, pretty neat effects. Um, I know that the panels will be available uh, for purchase eventually. Uh, you can of course use any type of pixel with these. I believe LOR's pixels would work. Uh, I know Greg with Seasonal Entertainment has a new pixel solution coming out. And of course any of the smart strings, anything from, from RJ would be adaptable to this. Um, it's just a 9 by 18 grid so 162 pixels total and uh, all the programming sequencing etc is running straight DMX um, I'm using LR but of course you do LSP or anything else as well